every morning, Chili just sits there because it's way too early and she's not fully awake yet. But she still has to come because she's a FOMO dog. Come, come, Chili. everyone so last week frank accidentally cut off a part of his finger it was so scary at first because i wasn't sure how much of his finger he cut off or if multiple fingers were missing i just told him to get whatever parts he had and we went to the er the er doctor stitched it back and said it's a 50 50 percent chance the part will reattach itself and because he's very young, most likely it'll reattach. So I was almost convinced that he's gonna be okay. But it's been a week now and the part is pretty much dead. It's not attaching at all. So the doctor referred us to a hand specialist who recommended plastic surgery. So we'll see about that. I see. Not yet. And I felt pretty bad about that day because I wanted to eat KBBQ at home. And Frank remembered that I don't like to eat the fat part of the meat. So he was trying to cut off the fat. And because he just took the meat out of the fridge, it was still frozen. And when he was slicing it like this, he accidentally cut off like his thumb flap, like this area. So ever since then, I decided to be very nice to Frank. I said I won't get mad at him maybe for, for forever. And I even bought him the gloves for handling meat. So this way he wouldn't really cut himself in the future. And I just feel like we all have PTSD handling knives now. But honestly, Frank was really brave because on that day, they just dipped his wa a hand in sterile water and they did the stitches without any anesthesia. He didn't even complain or cry. I feel like if it's me, I will probably be lying in bed crying or just mad about the whole situation. But he's in good spirit now and we'll, we're still scheduling for the plastic surgery. So we'll see what they can do about his finger. After we went to the supermarket, Frank wanted to buy seafood for a hot pot he wants to eat. Also, we just feel like eating at home because it's less oily and healthier which is better for injury recovery. Frank's eating Zhao Bo Chu Huo Guo, which is a fermented rice hot pot. And I want to say it tastes exactly like Tom Yum soup. And this is what I like to eat. This is silkworm pupae. Pretty much it's a bud. So if you think about the life cycle of a moth, you have the larva which cocoons and inside the cocoon you have a pupae which eventually is gonna become a silkworm moth. I'm not gonna go into specifics cause I don't think anyone wants to know. But basically inside you have the silkworm larva surrounded by silk and outside you have the shell. We typically eat the silk part, which tastes like tofu. It's very easy to make. All you have to use is a little bit of oil and then you drizzle it with salt. There's no specified amount of time that you have to fry it. I personally like it when it's juicier inside, but some people like to fry it longer so it's more firm. So this is how it look once it's done. I don't usually eat outside, but you can. It just tastes very crunchy, and there's some a little bit of salt. I usually just eat the inside part. This is how the inside look, and just think of this as the egg yolk. It just tastes like tofu, but also very juicy. Like, it'll actually pop in your mouth. And then in the very inside, you have the bug. This part, I don't really eat. It doesn't have any taste, it's just very hard. I'm not someone who usually eats bug, but I had this since when I was a kid. And at the time, I didn't really know what I was eating besides it tastes good. 
but if you try to give me any bugs now, I wouldn't be open to eating. Like, I mean, I like to eat this, but I try not to overthink each component. The more I know, the more gross I feel, and I might just end up not eating. But this is one of the delicacy from where I came from. We always see this around the winter time. And after you chew everything, you just spit out the skin. Like that. Ever since Frank cut his finger, I'm too scared to ask him to use a knife. And but he bought a lot of coconuts. Back then we would just cut it like this, but now I'm just scared that he'll cut up another finger. So I bought these coconut cutters from online. I don't know if it works well, but the reviews are pretty good, so I'll give it a try. nice and the juice is still inside and you can still see the meat here nothing is leaking i guess it works pretty well i got another one frank bought a bunch of these because he was gonna make coconut chicken but i didn't really feel like eating coconut chicken i just want to drink the juice Easy, easy. Yeah, I guess this one saves you a lot of time if you really like to drink coconut but don't really want to hurt your own finger. And the opening is big enough so you can also dig in for the meat because I usually like to eat the meat. But every time we open with the knife, the cut is just not big enough and I can only drink the juice. Here we go.
This is Resco. It's supposed to be the Asian grocery store version of Costco. And they just had their grand opening, so Frank and I came to check to see what they have. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Doggies! Hello! Can you knock it? Okay, alright.
Oh my gosh! Chili! That's why he's covering you in blankets. 